Hey, what is going on? Boomstick here, giving you a gun review. This is going to be based on the Beretta Brigadier 92FS. So, if once you buy this firearm, this is what you'll get. You get a blue case with a Beretta logo and the labeling on top says "Made in Italy." Yes, it is not the made in the USA. There are two variants of the Brigade. There's the American and Italy version. But anyways, once you open it, voila, magnifique. There it is, right there. There's a Beretta with a magazine with this. I would say this is a cookie cutter, uh, a shot glass, or whatever you want to think of. Technically, I couldn't find anything that really details this. So I'll leave it down to you what you think this is. What I mean by a cookie cutter is you can take the bottom of this and actually make Beretta cookies. Maybe celebrate Beretta's birthday with it. Who knows? But you get two magazines with it. One will be on the outside right here. And then you get one inside of the gun. Hopefully. There we go. Stain in picture here. So, you'll get two magazines. Depending on the state that you live in, you'll either get the low capacity 10 round magazine or if you're in a very law-abiding state that understands firearms and you got yourself the 15 rounder standard capacity magazines. Uh, you'll get two of these and then you got the gun and then you got a whole bunch of other goodies underneath this top piece of foam here. You got your cleaning rod, your cleaning brushes. Other than that you got your owner's manual. Very important, you know, if something you get stuck on, you know, something to read. And then you can take little notes on the back of it. Uh, but it also has your disassembly instructions, how to disassemble, uh, field strip your uh, Beretta 92 FS. And that is not, I think that is not a Brigade, it's just a standard 92, but each Beretta, the disassembly is the same thing. There is no fancy gizmos. So let's get to the pistol here, this Brigadier. What do I think of it? What are the cons? What are the pros about it? Uh, I have taken down, the, uh, t taken this to the range. Have shot it a couple times. Enjoyed it. Yeah. In my opinion, this Beretta is like the Cadillac of Berettas. You know, like Cadillacs are like very. When you drive a Cadillac, it's like floating on a cloud. You know, you're just. It's very comfortable. That's what this is. It has this nice round rubber grip here that doesn't wrap around the whole pistol grip just goes around underneath the trigger guard very very nice very texture uh very comfortable i actually do like that fits well in my hands you got your pl uh, plastic trigger here plastic trigger uh the guide rod you got your plastic guide rod right here uh you got an ambidextrous safety it goes both ways. Very nice. It has its red red dot indicating fire, not fire, on both sides. You got adjustable front side, uh, front and rear sights. Uh, the only one that would be comparable with this would be the Inox. But what I realize about the Inox is that the the front sight is on the frame, so you cannot adjust the front sight. But you can adjust the rear sight. But when it comes to this particular firearm, you can adjust both sights as you wish. Or replace both if you don't like the color red. Because that's what both of these are. Both the front sight and the rear sight are red dotted. Uh, you can also change that with paint jobs. You know, there's people out there that could actually little, put a little paint on it. Go with green, maybe blue, maybe pink. Uh, that is totally up to you, uh, but I'm not going to judge. But anyways, it's just, if you know about Berettas, these are like standard Berettas. They're not high-tech, nor like, I wouldn't say high-tech. This is just more the luxurious side of the Berettas. Uh, the, uh, you got your magazine release button here. Your disassembly switch right here. What you would do is press the button on the side here, which is this guy right here. Once you press that button, at the same time pull this down, as you can tell, bam, the, thing, uh, the slide pushes forward and you can disassemble, field strip the 
Beretta. Got your spring guide right here. Disassembling with the barrel. Yes, very fancy. Uh, the the Berettas shoot nine millimeter. In particular, this one shoots a nine millimeter. Small round. To reassemble it very easily. that back together slide it back together pull it back a couple inches and then let it forward bring the hammer down and there you go BAM it's reassembled uh, so I like it it's very a comfortable firearm to shoot yeah I think it's one of the most comfortable firearms to shoot especially when you get that rubber gripping around there uh, and especially if it's my hand very well. Uh, that's when it comes to Berettas, when it comes to hand sizes, however. If you know about hand sizes with these Berettas, they're a bit big. If you've got small hands, uh, there's always a con to these with people with small hands. Because you don't like how big it is. And that's agreeable because there's people with different size hands. But when you have this rubber texture grip around the Beretta, uh, around the hand, guard, uh, hand grip, it makes it a lot more bigger in width size. So if you're complaining about how big uh, the hand grip is and how just a standard hand grip without the rubber, it's just too big for you, then maybe something like this will be avoided. You might as well not look at this, look for something else. But if you got big hands like myself, uh, this will probably be very nice and uh, very comfortable to shoot for you. Um, but you also got this sling here. This is where you'll put like a sling or like a, when you're carrying your pistol or you're going on training, you put a little bungee sling right here. So when you draw it and you drop it, the sling will catch it without touching the ground, hopefully. But that's for you to put a sling on it. Or maybe go like the, if you ever watch The Good, Bad, and the Ugly, uh, where that actor with that, uh, that Mexican who holds that old pistol. He has that sling around his chest. Maybe you like to dangle your beret on the side and ready to draw. Who knows? That is up to you. But anyways, uh, you got your magazine release, which I have a con to this. I do not like the magazine release button. Here is why. It is super flush. Like straight, nice, and flatness to the handguard. It doesn't stick out much. So when I put a magazine on it and I am shooting with my hand straight on target let's see here then what happens is I cannot get my thumb around the hand grip and I cannot press the button so which means is that I would have to twist the firearm in my hand in order to eject the magazine so I don't like that, and hopefully Beretta gets this review and thinks about extending that magazine release button. Uh, Beretta does sell a magazine release button, an extended, ver uh, an extended one, uh, separate, but I think that should already be extended because that is just so perfectly flush. You have to twist your hand uh, around the grip, which means you have to readjust your fire, uh, and when you're trying to reload, it's a pain. Just extend the magazine release button. If you're thinking about buying one of these, I would highly recommend that is the only modification you do to it because that is just a pain in the rear if you're going to go shoot with this. Or especially if you're thinking about using this as a concealed carry firearm. Uh, people do use these as concealed carry firearms. You know, you've ever watched um, Die Hard. Uh, he can still carry this with a shoulder holster. But uh, that is one definite that needs to be changed is that magazine release button. Get it extended and it will save you immense amount of stress. But uh, that is all I got with the uh, 92FS Brigadier Beretta or Beretta Brigadier. Great firearm, great to shoot, and it is a bit hefty. Uh, they do explain that it has a little bit more heft to it than its standard Berettas. Uh, but I leave that up to you really doesn't it, it just feels like a standard pistol to me but anyways 
That is the quick review of the 92FS Beretta Brigadier. Hopefully this video was helpful. And again, do stick around. I will be, if I ever get the time to do it, I'll get a separate video of this shooting so you can actually see this uh, operate and maybe judge that as your final factor before buying one of these. But uh, anyways, thank you all for watching and have a good one.